And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look. Let's go! Let's go! A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys might be headed to the win column for the first time this season as they add on to their lead. Form is checking, huh? Oh, hey, I'm glad I ran into you. Oh, the yams, you. all right. I know you got a lot going on today, but I want to talk to you really quick. Yeah, what's mm -hmm. up, Andy? Look, by just about any individual measure, this season has been an amazing success for you. We brought you in, we asked you to prove it, and you have proven you can be a star. Right, The right. fans love you, the entire organization loves what you're doing on the field. It's been great. Yeah, I'm happy to hear it. I'm glad everyone's seen the work I've been putting in. Seriously, you keep this up, and there's no reason why you can't be a franchise cornerstone for years to come. I hope when you're signing another deal in the offseason, you'll be making this your home long term. I can't even begin to explain how much that means to me. I mean, from day one when I came in here, I was welcomed and given an opportunity to shine like never before. And look, you made the most of it. You keep it up, all right? 11 mil? Continually operating stadium in the NFL as you get a look inside Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Today we hit week 10 and we've got a good one in store between the Dallas Cowboys and the Green Bay Packers. We welcome everybody again alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn and CD. We've got an interesting test here today. One of the league's best passing games and one of the best pass defenses set to square up and see who can perform better in a high profile matchup and you and i talk about all the time how fortunate we are to be in this position to be around these types of games and as jacked up as these fans are how about these two teams they've been looking forward to testing themselves against what is considered the best on the other side this is they start on Looks the ground boy and he's going to get a down. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit. Let's go, Zeke. They go to Elliott again. And he can only manage over the last six meetings. You think about the Dez Bryan game in the playoffs and the catch, no catch controversy. But of course, the news here the return of Mike McCarthy. He was the coach here from 2006 to 2018. Only Kermit Lambo himself has more wins as a Packer coach than McCarthy. And that includes Vince Lombardi. So he had quite an accomplished tenure, no doubt. Include Up the middle, here's Elliott. And he is swell on the year. And they come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. In fact, when they looked at the schedule to start the season, they want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. Let's go. He just did on that point. Three, now here's Let's second go. and seven. Here's Prescott. Come here. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Playing with these niggas. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. A first down carry by Elliott. Oh. He's going to ball his way. A nice run there, nine yards. All right, we got to go goal line. And Hold it down. Let's go right now. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, Touchdown. Well, Let's go. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. I think we can all breathe a sigh of relief. Let's go. Now Elliott. And he'll 
They'll take this from the nine troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming out. He will pay off. We'll see if they can. But this is third and goal. Now Prescott. Cool. We'll Prescott take that. We'll take that. Get that three points. Sacked at the 10. Rashawn Gary has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Well, last game he had two sacks. And they come into this one with an 0-8 record. The playoffs obviously out the window weeks ago. For now, their season boils down really to one question. How do we come up with that first win? Oh, bro. question, and I do think when you're 7-1, that's a piece of cake. But with their record right now, how do they manage to keep these guys going in the right direction? And they're going to need go. some help from some of those Let's go. Well. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Sure, you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard oh, they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for it with Ellie. First down. And he's taken down. They'll try to throw down. Prescott. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. Draw play. Elliott. And they see right through that. Two for three thus far. This is third and nine. Got him. He Got him. His man Let's fucking go. And he's taken down Let's fucking go. Reaching the ten yard line. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. A first down throw for Prescott. That's caught again by Schultz. Oh. That was... It's fucking the Cowboy. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get it. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute. But first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10. We'll begin up north at MetLife Stadium over in New Jersey. Where you see the final score there. Daniel Jones, strong in the victory as it pushes his guys back above the 500 mark on the year. From there, we'll head down to Charlotte to check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Christian McCaffrey, over 100 yards in the victory with two touchdown runs as well. Finally, let's get out to Southern Nevada and see what's happening with the Raiders at home in Las Vegas. In that game, level, as they take on the visiting Indianapolis Colts. With that, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Cowboys. And they've had some success on the ground. And with the lead going into the second half, they'll no doubt be looking to keep it going. Meanwhile, for the Packers, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And he's in because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front, and it may be a guard can sign. Needing only two yards to gain the first here. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And the 36 now. First and 10. A 20th carry here for Elliott. That's now Prescott. He's gonna fire one deep. Ah. And that goes on second down. That'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Damn. Meanwhile, this one knocked down in the backfield. It's incomplete. So it would appear they will not be able to add to their lead on this opening drive of the second half. So yes, drive. First and ten upcoming. They'll start this drive out on the ground. That's to about found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook Woo. is still open for now. On third down, it's Prescott. Wow. Let's go. Good receiver complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, 
there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one in order to mean. Inside give to Elliott. And he'll manage to pick up a lot of your calls. They're setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside round They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Prescott now from the 50. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Easy money, coach. You're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, go to zone but towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. From the 39, Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Schultz. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already two of two on third down conversions on this drive. Again to Elliott. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And nothing to second and eight. Throwing. Prescott. Let's go. Looking down. Okay. Well, that's complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the spot to throw the ball there. Now a first and 10 at the 11. The give is to Elliott, and he stopped immediately there. On the tackle that time, Dean coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look. Let's go! Let's go! A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys might be headed to the win column for the first time this season as they add on to their lead. But Let's fucking go. Game. And you know, the way this thing has been going, Charles, two scores kind of feels just like saw has this now at a one score game. And on this side of the football, things are getting pretty tenuous, a little stressful. Blood pressure up a little bit, you think? I think up a lot of it. There's a team that's been playing not to lose as opposed to playing to win. To throw is Prescott. Let's go. He finds his man complete. It's Schultz. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. And now right out of the nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Now Dak on the option left. Okay, and Dak. Five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the seven four. And this crowd urging on their defense. They're up and making noise. Here's Elliott. Fuck. He's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. Aaron Rodgers gets the fucking ball. Their third and five. Bro. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And the second one of the tacklers is gonna get him as they stop him behind the line. Going to overtime because neither one got an advantage today. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules remind us how See. this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. What y'all doing over here? What y'all think on? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. See that shit, bro? They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he will lose. Here comes the first throw at OT for Prescott. And his throw is going to almost try to roll a receiver open. 
when there was no chance he was going to be. Nice job by the linebacker. Damn, bro. And not going to a chance to win it. And it feels like they ran out on the field, and right before they did, they told. Bro. Bro. To defend your home turf, and today that mission was accomplished. Look, every offseason, every preseason, the head coach goes in front of the team and says, game, folk, the mission for the mm -hmm. season game, Rogers. defend our home field every all right, time, all right, all right. split on the road, and we'll be in the playoffs. That's why defending the home field is vital. So for Green Bay, the great run they've been on continues as they move to 9 and 1 now. And they'll get to stay home again next.